Nowadays, 3D film is very popular. It's convenient to use because it doesn't need any cutting, sticking or taping. Also, the result comes out in four angle effects. You can see the effects of this 3D film is very clear. Here are the two different inks that are used for our machine. One is low temperature ink and this is high temperature ink. You can see the difference in the yellow color. Low temperature ink is used to print on the normal plastic like ABS but high temperature ink is used to print on heat proof plastic. Now we use low temperature ink to print the sublimation on the iPhone cover. First of all set the temperature to 160 degrees. For different material we use different temperature settings. For ABS we use 100 degrees centigrade. Now set the second temperature to warm up the film. Press the temperature for 5 seconds and set the temperature to 90 degrees. Press the time settings for 5 seconds and set the time to 20 seconds. So let's set the time settings to 300 seconds. To make the 3D films, we have to make some changes to the heating pad. Now see our technician how he changes the cover of the ceiling. Take off the silicone cover and attach the ceiling lines to the borders of the cover. Now check the position of the metal. We have to change the position of this metal. You can see how our technician changes this position of the metal. This is how the metal should be to make the film of the 3D cover. Sometimes after a long time use of the machine the ceiling lines won't fit the heating pad. So here is the process. Insert the small needle to the ceiling lines and cut the top of the needle. Then you can use the ceiling line again with the needle. Now we put the heating pad back into the machine. Let's start heating the machine. Press power and start heating. Now we start the sublimation of the 3D film on the iPhone cover. For that, take out the oven. Remove the heating pad and put the oven back into the machine. Open the tray of the heating pad and put in the iPhone cover. Fix the 3D film into the heating pad to the small metal portion. Close the cover of the heating pad. Put it back into the oven for the sublimation. Now let's wait for 20 seconds. 
it needs 20 seconds for the vacuum to start working. For the pressure of the pump, it will be 0 0.06 PA. After 20 seconds, it will start working. You can see the power of the vacuum pump going to 0 0.06 PA. When you hear the beep, the process is over. You can take out the mobile cover from the heating pad of the sublimation machine. Press the green button again. Put the oven back into the machine. Open the tray. And you can see the beautiful iPhone cover coming out of the heating pad. You can see the color effects. It has got four angles and a very beautiful effect. But as you can see, the cover is very soft. So to get it back to the original stage, put it in the special mode to cool down for a few seconds. After two minutes, you can check the lines are very straight. It means it's in the perfect shape. You can see our technician putting the sublimated iPhone cover to the phone. Wow, how beautiful it looks now.